rides vintage bikes? Well, to some extent, it depends which country you're in. Take France, for example. Yeah, France. Go to Paris. Go to the Latin Quarter. It's filled with liberal art schools. And there you will see a lot of hipsters, young college students, most of them liberal art school. And they all ride vintage bikes, all of them. Men, women, really, really cool vintage bikes. Peugeot's, a lot of Peugeot's, Moto Bikane, but also all kind of brands I've never heard before. Incredible, amazing. I was blown away when I saw that last time. But then if you come back to the United States, hipsters, college students, liberal art schools, vintage bikes, nah, 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 I really don't see it. What I see in the United States are Mexicans. Yeah, Mexicans. They ride those super cool vintage bikes. I see them where I live. And I know the reason they ride those bikes is because they are looking for a reliable and cheap mean of transportation. I get it, but I'm jealous. I'm jealous because I want that bike. I cannot find that bike. And when I find that bike, it's super expensive and I'm sure that they got it for nothing. But you know, whether it's the French hipsters of the Mexican commuters, those people are not the real vintage bicycle people. Those people just use vintage bikes. One of them uses them as a symbol because it's politically correct, it's cool, it's green. They don't care about vintage bikes. Tomorrow it's going to be something else. The Mexican, they just want something that's going to bring them from point A to point B. They don't care what it is. No, the real vintage bicycle peoples are the nuts. The nuts, like me. Yeah, yeah, men in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. And there are two reasons why we are so passionate about vintage bicycles, why we are so nut. One, it reminds us of our use. Those are the bikes we used to ride when we were 13, 14, 15, and we felt on top of the world when we were riding those bikes back then. The second reason is it makes us feel superior. Yeah, yeah, it does. It makes us feel superior to you. Why? Because we know things that you don't. We know about riding a steel frame. Carbon weight winnies. Carbon, what the heck is that? What the heck is that? Where will your carbon frame be in 10 years from now? Yeah, sure. My steel frame might be a little rusted, but I can take care of that really easily. My steel frame will still be around in 40 years. And carbon, that's not a noble material. Give me a break. And center pull brakes. You need two miles to stop a vintage bike going downhill. You and your disc brakes that squeal like a pig when it rains. What the heck is that? That stop on a dime. What the heck is that? Ten gear. Ten gear going up 15% on a ten gear. We know what that's like. Well, you with your 24 gears and your electronic shifting. We know that to just to turn the crank one rotation, we need to blow up at least one of our knees. And sometimes maybe even two. You, 25%, you can't feel a thing. You have a cog in the rear that's the size of a pizza. What the heck? Won't you buy, ride it by a electric bike and be done with it? You don't even need to pedal. A real man, that's who rides vintage bike. Real, tough, macho man. Mm -hmm.